Ready? Good to go. Welcome to the very first training series video. Now, I've done training videos already in the past, but now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing more regular training videos. So, um, if you haven't, if you don't know just yet, I don't know if I'm going to be announcing it in my next video that I have recorded, which is going to be after before this video that you're watching now. I know, very confusing. But basically, I'm going to be doing three videos a week. And the first video is going to be the Coach's Corner, where we're going to be unloading a lot of uh, knowledge with myself and the SWAT Club coaches. We're going to be answering a lot of questions that you guys have been shooting us messages through the Instagram page. And the second video every week will be a training video, which is this one here. The third video, which I don't know what day that's going to be yet. It's just trying to figure out how I can try and squeeze it in, but it'll be my, my weekly vlogs that I've already been doing for the last five months. So they're the three videos that'll be going out every single week. So today's video is training and uh, we're going to be doing a pull workout. Now right now I'm doing four days and I'm, I was doing five before but uh, I have a bit of a leg injury now. Um, the Spartan race really took its toll on me and uh, it stuffed up my hip pretty bad. So uh, I'm limited to doing any lower body movement at the moment. So hopefully in the fingers crossed the next couple of weeks I'll be back into it. So today's uh, upper body, it's going to be pull. So we're doing a push pull. Two days of a rest and then go back into push pull again. I'll talk you through everything, the movements, uh, sets and reps will probably be down in this corner here for every clip. So let's go and smash this workout. If your metro don't trust you, I'm gonna show you. Beautiful morning, get the sun in my morning, babe. Nothing in the morning. The first movement is gonna be our uh, wide grip pull ups and we're gonna be doing weight dip. So uh, reps are gonna stay down low. We're only doing six reps this week, but for the next five weeks, we're gonna be going up every week. Weight will stay the same, that way we just keep progressing up by, well, it's gonna be three sets. So, we're doing three sets of six, next week we do three by seven, three by eight, three by nine, so forth. So, we're gonna be going up 30 kilos every week. There's progressive volume already. So, Steve, can you make sure that I look big in this angle? Steve, the magic behind the camera. <laughs> meadow rows on the landmine. So this movement here, we're looking at more like our rhomboids, our rear delts and our traps with this movement here. Um, I'm going to be using 10 kilo plates, but I'm using like the smaller plates. That way then I can increase the range of motion. If I were to use the bump plates, you can see the size difference, which will enable me with these ones here, enable me to get down a little bit lower, which would I think, increase my range of motion. Whereas these ones are a lot higher, so then this bar isn't going to be as low. So that's the reason why we're going to be using smaller plates. Meadow rows, make sure that your arm is going to be more of a 90 degree angle. Um, leaning on your other leg as well to support your back. And getting down as horizontal as you can. So we're going to go three sets of 15 here. to progress so this is week one on my current program so for me to progress I don't think I'm gonna be able to progress this weight in the next few weeks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel it down a little bit in weight I also felt my form being sacrificed because of the weight as well so I'm gonna go down a little bit lighter because it wasn't feeling wasn't feeling like it should do so come down lighter leave your egos at the door if you want to try and improve your physique, you can't go throwing around heavy weight, uh, I guess to some degree. You need to make sure, you need to prioritize your form and your technique. That way uh, you are working uh, the muscles that, you know, the movement is designed for. Uh, we've got a superset. I'm supersetting with uh, a medium grip lat pull downs. There's been recent studies showing you that a medium grip is going to be able to recruit a lot more lat 
and also a lot more bicep movements than going out too wide, which is going to also limit your range of motion. Let's go through the movement of this exercise. The first thing that you guys want to do from the top part of the movement is think you want to get back to an angle of my lats. So right now, I'm in a protraction position, which I'm protracting my shoulders. The next part of the movement is you're retracting your shoulders down. So again, protraction, retraction. The following movement then is that's when you start pulling your elbows down. And then you start getting more of a smoother movement with that. On the way up, make sure that you are coming all the way up to 90 degrees and getting a full stretch of your lat. And then on the way down, you wanna try and lean back so we can get a good plane uh, for your angles to hit your lats. Okay, so we're now gonna go into a tricep for our rear delts. So the first movement, we're gonna be doing a cable rear delt. Shit, what was it? Okay. Face pull. <laughs> face pull. Oh my god, I forgot what it was. Okay, so we're going into the cable face pull, right? So we're going to go up from the high end, and we're going to be sitting down so we can, we can get a bit of a different uh, angle. Um, we're going to go two sets of 20 here. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're doing two sets of 15. <laughs> right, okay, so two sets, two sets of 15. We're going to go, the next exercise is going to be dumbbell rear delt flies. That one's going to be more of an isolation, whereas this one here is recruiting a little bit more muscles. Um, so, yeah, two sets of 20 rear delt flies into banded pull apart as well. Just trying to change the stimulus and a bit of different tension as well on the rear delts as a, as a bit of a finisher for that one too. So, um, two sets of 15 here. <laughs> This one would be trying to think about you've got like a pencil in your back or like a walnut in your back blades and trying to squeeze it and try and bust it together. Good, it's a good mind to muscle connection type of thought, coaching cue. Alright, so the next part, like I said, then we've got rear delt flies, right? So these ones are going to be more of the isolation here. Now, Steve, when you're doing this, can you record my rear delts for this yeah. part? What you're going to see is that I'm not going to be trying to fire up my back. Um, I'm only lifting small weights here, I've only got 6 kilos, um, as soon as I start going a little too heavy, I'm going to start recruiting a lot more uh, of my back in the movement, which I don't want to do. Like, I just want to just target the green delts with these ones, so you go into a protraction with this movement, like I did with the, with the lat pull down, so protraction would be here, forward, alright? So keep your hands in a neutral grip from here. Just think about the rear delts. It's more of a mind to muscle connection movement. So that was good weight, that was 76 kilos. Um, and I find even for me, if I was to close my eyes, I'd actually focus on, on the actual muscle and actually contracting um, that mind to muscle connection. It's gonna be really, really important um, with an isolation move just like that one. So, close your eyes. 
Last exercise of this one, the tricep, bend and pull parts. Just go and grab like a thin band, just changing the stimulus and getting it about three quarters, uh, leaving it three quarters of the way. From here, just pulling it apart, back to your chest. And two sets of 20. Next exercise we have are uh, the easy bar curls. All right, so we're gonna be doing four sets of six here. So we are going relatively heavy for this movement. Um, and that way we can keep progressing up each week with the weight of this too. So let's get into it. Keep your elbows back too. No shoulder movements. about squat club is that you've got three little mascots here. Look at these guys, look at them. <laughs> they don't ever want to leave my side. Do you? Hey? You watching me making sure my form's good? <laughs> Where's the other one at? Charlie? <laughs> Alright, last exercise. We're gonna go dumbbell incline curls. Um, we have three sets of 20 of each arm, getting a lot of volume in here, so nothing too heavy. Um, the key with this one as well is you're trying to think about keeping your elbows back. You're going to be in a neutral position at the bottom here, and then as you come up, you're going to externally rotate outwards, which also contracts your bicep more at the top of the movement. So, let's start. Reps with that. <laughs> that was 20. I felt like probably when I got to like rep 12, I thought like, this is gonna be tough for me. <laughs> the lactic acid starts building up. 20 reps is probably it's a lot of reps. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing count. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the workout. Uh, make sure that you're providing some sort of progressive overload approach with this uh, this workout. So over the coming weeks. Um, you want to look at like trying to increase sets or increase reps or look at trying to increase the weight as you keep progressing. That way then you're getting that progressive overload stimulus in your workout. So um, back and biceps done. Next week we'll do a push movement. If you like this video, this is the first one of these, uh, please give me a thumbs down. A thumbs down. Thumbs Don't up. give me a thumbs down. <laughs> no thumbs downs. Thumbs ups. Don't give me a thumbs up. Let me know kind of, you know, if you like this type of style of videos, if this is something that you want to see more of, then please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that way it will help me dictate what you guys actually want to see. So give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, I'll see you, see you in the vlogs uh, next this week. So see you then, take care, peace.